Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing great. I'm Siddharth and once again, welcome back to my channel. As you have already guessed from the title of this video, it's going to be the comparison of my new M4 Mac Mini to the late 2013 iMac which I used for making all my YouTube videos so far. This video is a bit different from my conventional music related stuff or my saxophone covers you can say. Since I'm going to be comparing the performance of my M4 Mac Mini with my late 2013 iMac using the various benchmark tests such as Geekbench 6, Cinebench 2024, alongside doing some other weird tests like Logic Pro Stress Test, as well as an iMovie render of 4K footage for one minute. So let's get straight into the video. So as you can see right here, I'm doing the unboxing of my M4 Mac. This Mac Mini I ordered from Apple India Store for the first time ever and it was a pre-order since I exactly ordered on the day of the release that is October 29th, 2024. So now let's get straight into the unboxing. Apple claims this is the first carbon neutral Mac and it was shown there as I saw when I was peeling off the stickers in order to get the box out. Alright, so now let's get straight in the unboxing. And there we have it, the M4 Mac Mini. So this time we can see the M4 Mac Mini is much smaller than the M2 Mac itself. It has been a complete redesign. And even the packaging was much different from what it used to be since this time I didn't receive any stickers which usually come with Apple products. And in this Mac Mini box, I only received the Mac Mini, the power adapter, and an instruction guide. So now let's take a look at the M4 Mac Mini. In the front of the Mac Mini, we have two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. And as we turn it around, we can see the power port, the Ethernet port, the HDMI port, and three Thunderbolt 4 ports. Underneath the Mac Mini is the power button, which is a bit of a hassle to power on each time. So now let's have a look at Geekbench 6 performance scores. Geekbench 6 measures the overall usage of the CPU and the GPU. For the CPU performance, we can see the Mac Mini has around 14,000 in multi-core and 3,000 in single-core performances. Now moving to the iMac, we see it takes much longer than the Mac Mini, around 7 minutes and 30 seconds. And the scores on iMac were shocking since it was only 1,000 in single-core and around 3,000 in multi-core. Now when we compare the results, we can see a decade leap of performance, with it around being 3.63 times faster in single core and 4.73 times faster in multi core. With the GPU scores, we can see there's around 13.57 times increment compared to the last decade. So now let's perform the Cinebench tests. As you can see, for the Mac Mini, it finished two renders in under 10 minutes, whereas in the case of iMac, just to finish one render, it took around 37 minutes to say the least. This itself should indicate how much performance difference is there between these two devices. Now, when we take the result of the iMac, it is shocking to say that the multi-core performance of iMac matches the single core of the Mac Mini. Thus indicating the fact that it's around 3.79 times faster in single core and 5.32 times faster in multi-core performance. So now we are doing the unofficial Logic Pro stress test where we are adding a MIDI track with loads of plugins to eat up the CPU. As you can see with the Mac Mini, it clocked around 135 MIDI tracks, whereas in the case of my old iMac, well, it could only do around 26 tracks. 
With this test, I also found out that Logic Pro has an auto mode feature for CPU utilization. When I push it to 10 cores in Mac Mini, it gives me around 135 tracks. Now finally, we come to the iMovie render test. In this, I decided to render a 4K clip for around 1 minute. In the Mac Mini, it hardly took 12 seconds to render out the entire clip. Now coming to my iMac, when I try to render this 4K clip, it took me around the usual 2 minutes that it would take whenever I use 4K videos. Now let's take a look at the results to see how much difference there is. As you can see in this graph, the Mac Mini takes hardly 12 seconds with iMac taking around 108. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for more saxophone and music related content. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any updates. I'll see you all in the next video.